And here's a um, picture of it right here at the um, 1895 um, Paris train crash in the train station. And this became the inspiration for the, an episode of Bear Fruit from Gordon and one of the Thomas episodes. And this scene was also the basis for a train crash scene in um, the movie Hugo, which I remember watching when I was 14 years old at the time, which I didn't remember the scene though, but that also became the basis of this incident train crash. I never knew anything about it. And, um, um, the tr and there was also an episode, I remember Percy and the Ram, which is about gold that got out of the train station. The Ram, um, was supposed to be based on a real incident of, in the newspapers, again, the train station, kind of a colorful human interest story, but that became the basis of the TV show. And, um, you, um, had um, a lot of the trains were based off real were based off real trains um, such as um, Scarloli, one of the oldest engines I guess of the C railway series um, Scarloli um, was based on a real line Scarlone, you know, this is from the, the um, animated Spurgeon, but um, Scarlone was one of the main characters. This is one of the train, this is like a model of the trains I like, collected. But um, Scarlone was a, a real train that was, that was from Wales. Clement. And was been around since eighteen. The train had been around since eighteen sixty three, which is oldest, and which is um a hundred years um ago. Hundred year, years ago, um, then um, told the um, Toby was also a, um, a um, another character, a steam tram that was based off a of real. Steam trail from Wales, England that transport people people to the beaches. Beaches on the loop. Beaches and um good. and um the author Robert Andre actually wrote on one of the steam trails that became the inspiration for his his characters in the book of Toby in the railway series. Even Percy, Ty, Thomas's close friend in the series, was based on a real train. Um, was based on a real train. It was based on a real train. It was based on a real train, um, even. So most of the kids are all based on real characters. Based on real models. 
trains. Trains and steam engines, as they were called. And that's what the thing, the neat thing about Thomas was his realism. His realism is a kid show. There were real issues, even though um, though it, they had talking faces, they had faces that moved and they could talk. <laughs> but for the most part, he was a realistic show and dealt with real issues, social issues. In my opinion, it had, as I said, a historical feel, a nostalgic feel to it. Now, um, feel to it, and I think the she, the film Magic Rebel had, um, as I said, kind of dipped and straight away from that element of the realism. And, um, and it was um, more fantasy like. Fantasy like. And I think that had an effect on the series onward. The native season, like season six, was. was, was I thought as a kid they were nice episodes, but, but looking at it today as well, looking at the movie Magic Railway, it seemed like it wasn't, it was terrible to today's stick. I mean, it's terrible in my standards compared to the realism of the, the series before the series before the, um, before the film came out. And this was, I think, what Britt Alcraft was trying to capture, even though um, capture even though it wasn't, I should say, a part of the um, element of the book book, and straight away from the book, but she was trying to do something where she was trying to make Thomas the tech engine itself a very popular character for the, for the young kids and the, the young kids' imagination. And she did succeed in doing that, but in, I guess in a different way that was unattended by the art of River Arthur. Don't, and even though it was becoming evident in season five as they started to stray away from writing um, events that occurred in the books or in, in um, created fictitious events. Fictitious events that, original events that never occurred in the book, and it, I guess. As you say, um, stuck to their own original plots and storylines and script writing, even though it was good, good, good until season six when um, Rev stepped down after the failure of the Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Well, as I said, character um, the character's traits were altered and changed and were inconsistent, and the um, episode and the writing, I think, suffered as well. And when, as I said before, the way I looked at season six it was more, I guess, so um, more fantasy, more um, more, more childlike, and that's um, realistic than the earlier season. The earlier seasons, the Jazz, Thomas and the Jet Engine, and um, Percy's Chocolate Crunch was the eps were tapes that I owned. That seemed more fancy, more kiddish. If you look at the covers, it's more um, wacky, I should say. And um, then the um, hit era came, and that was further altered ch character changes. And um, they didn't introduce new characters and new trains. I remember that, but it seemed more, in my opinion, more stale. It wasn't as I guess eventful, less adventure than the earlier season. And um, earlier seasons, the, um, as I said, season five was full of death, ass, and spectacles, and they even had a little bit of ghost and paranormal elements, you know, such as Rusty in the Boat or Toby in the Flood, and the scary episodes where um, Duncan gets spooked and haunted Henry. Told me in the mines. And I remember Hunter Henry kind of did scare me a little bit. The tr seeing the tree in the fog, the sign, it sounds safe. I thought just something the tree always scared. 
They scared me. He did give me dreams, night terrors, night terrors. Um, the show, early season, of the show was very well done. And the, I was always a Thomas fan. Well, into I was in fourth grade. Grade. That's my kind of lost interest. And it was until recently I just read this, I guess kind of had a resurgence and rediscovering the, the show would learn about the basis of the um the basis of the um the show, the production. And as I said, I didn't know it it was based off a railway series, but based off the, the, the railway series, which has been around since 18, well actually I mean 1945. with the original railway series picture and um, was created by Ruben Audrey and that's from where Thomas began as for the movie um, the character of Maura Wilson um, she was originally from the movie The Tilted which I didn't realize she was the same girl from the, from the um, Movie is Thomas and the Man Rail, which was actually the last film she did. And um, it was a Lily movie. Not a very pretty look in her day, but um, um, you know, it was a very, was, I guess, part of my memories of my childhood. And um, it was seeing an interesting topic to discuss. And, um, and, um, that's all I have to say on this video. This is another video by Chase Pounds. Thank you for my next video.